Ron from Just Imagine Journals in Australia. Today I have a fun project for you with some tiny little paper houses. And that you can see they're all shapes and sizes. These were with the art stacks, uh, the new papers, which are a lot of fun, very vibrant. And the pockets, and the pockets can either be at the top or at the side, whichever you prefer, and you just seal up the part that you don't want, and another pocket. This one's got a domed roof, and I use the rainbows as doors, because you know I like doors in art. And I didn't put anything in the pocket, because I'm just uh, playing with them, seeing what the possibilities are. Another one with texture paste. I like the using the double-sided paper or printing the paper on both sides so that you have a variety of patterns. Just makes it a little bit more interesting. And this one I've used some of the flowers from the floral fetish kit and some strips, colour strips for the roof. Just a different shape again. And the flowers. Last one I've used texture paste. And bold. Now this one here I just wanted to point out is you might notice exactly the same as these flowers. And what I did was I enlarged them, tipped it upside down one of the petals and uh, made it into a roof. And I've backed that as well so this on the other side. So I just thought it reminded me of a mushroom, sort of like a mushroom roof, and then that gives a little bit of a extra interest. Now, this one here, I haven't uh, pasted this one down. You don't need to, of course. And I just wanted to show you how it's just a single sheet of paper, and you can see the roofs have been cut there. Now, this construction, for if you look up online, one-page mini book then you'll see um, lots of uh, full-on tutorials about them. But just very briefly, I'll show you how it works. So you divide your paper into half, in half again, so that you have eight sheets. Then when it's in half, on the folded side, you cut here. Then you simply fold, and then you've got the little book. Now. With this one, that's how I did this one. So it's simply the little book and I've added the uh, dome-shaped roof. So that's a very simple construction. But I also wanted to play with this construction, which was one that uh, Kit Davey invented. And uh, if you look that up, you'll see how she's done that with the triangles. And I've put this on both sides, so that's not going anywhere but I quite like how then you've got the option also to fold that down. You could also use that triangle to mount a different shape on it as well. So I'll just briefly show you how that works. I'll just pop those out of the way for a little moment. So again, you fold your page in half, in half and in half. So then you have eight pieces. And what you do is you, where the dotted lines are, you draw a line or a light line. And then the next step is you're going to trace from here to here to here. So that makes a Z shape. And you can see that that's the same Z shape that I've got here. So that's what that is. You simply cut along there. And you can see that that could be any shape. It could be a, a dome shape. It could be any shape at all. But if you, I'm just going to leave it there for the moment in case you wanted to take a screenshot. I've ruled the, uh, the lines across and down. And of course, you don't need those. But just to show where that would be folded. And then this is the line that you perhaps do need to draw very lightly so that you can get your Z shape. Or of course, you can also just eyeball it and see how it goes. Now, 
you know the construction of this one, the, the one where it's just a little book, and then you could also do the same thing with any size. So with A3, and you could even put different papers, not necessarily the same paper. And this was a booklet which I made years ago, and that's out of an old topography map with exactly the same construction, so you could make them any size at all. So I hope you enjoyed my uh, tiny houses, sort of like a tiny village now. And uh, I'd love you to comment. And all the details for the papers uh, that I used below um, are below in the description box for your interest. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.